So welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunny. So I woke up this morning to some interesting news. So had a deja vu moment, but HashiCorp released a blog and announced that they're joining the international business machine. So let's get straight into this blog. So HashiCorp joins IBM to accelerate multi-cloud automation. HashiCorp joins IBM to accelerate the mission of multi-cloud automation and bring the products to a broader audience of users and customers. Today we announced that HashiCorp has signed an agreement to be acquired by IBM to accelerate the multi-cloud automation journey we started almost 12 years ago. I'm hugely excited by this announcement and believe this is an opportunity to further the HashiCorp mission and to expand to a much broader audience with the support of IBM. When we first started the company in 2012, the cloud landscape was very different than today. Mitchell and I were first exposed to public clouds as hobbyists experimenting with startup ideas and later as professional developers building mission critical applications. That experience made it clear that automation was absolutely necessary for cloud infrastructure to be managed at scale. The transformation impact of the public cloud also made it clear that we would inevitably live in a multi-cloud world. Lastly, it was clear that adoption of this technology would be driven by our fellow practitioners who were reimagining the infrastructure landscape. We founded HashiCorp with a mission to enable cloud automation in multi-cloud world for a community of practitioners. Today, I'm incredibly proud of everything that we've achieved. Our products are downloaded hundreds of millions of times each year by a passionate community of users. Each year, we certify tens of thousands of new users on our products who use our tools each and every day to manage the applications and infrastructure. Okay, so I'm just going to start summarizing this. And if you want to read the full blog, I'll post it below. We've partnered with thousands of customers, including hundreds of the largest organizations in the world to power their journey to multi-cloud. One of the most rewarding aspects of infrastructure is quietly underpinning incredible applications around the world. We are proud to enable millions of players to game together, deliver loyalty points for ordering coffee, connect self-driving cars, and secure trillions of dollars of transactions daily. This is why we always believe that infrastructure enables innovation. I mean, they really did change the game because infrastructure was, I think, sort of a, a space that was slowly fading away. Um, obviously, with all the DevOps and the cloud and everything that was coming about, infrastructure was sort of at the back of people's minds and the focus was more around um, the application development. So I think uh, this infrastructure as code has sort of put infrastructure back in the map and highlighted how important it is to have your infrastructure streamlined with an application deployment process. Yeah, it's definitely changed, I guess, the way I operate and the way I think now. Um, so yeah, it's definitely surprising. You know, I never thought that infrastructure space would innovate. Uh, the HashiCorp portfolio of products, we've grown significantly since we started the company. We've, we've continued to work with our community and customers to identify their challenges in adopting multi-cloud infrastructure and transitioning to zero trust approach approaches to security. Um, then it says that they also released a HashiCorp cloud platform. And then it says, this brings us to why I'm excited to, about today's announcement. We will continue to build products and services as HashiCorp and will operate as a division inside IBM software. By joining IBM, HashiCorp products can be made available to a larger audience, enabling us to serve many more users and customers. The community around HashiCorp is what we enabled our success. We continue to be deeply invested in the community of users and partners who work with HashiCorp today. Further through the scale of IBM and Red Hat communities, we plan to significantly broaden our reach and impact. Okay, so that's what they've uh, released. So let's see uh, how much it went for. Okay, so IBM to buy HashiCorp in $6.4 billion deal to expand in cloud. I think the article that I was reading in my last video mentioned that soon as uh, the word got out that they were looking for buyers, their their stock rose by 25% and went to, I think, $6.1 billion. So April 24th, which is, I believe, right now in the U.S., International business machines will buy HashiCorp in a deal valued at $6.4 billion. The company said on Wednesday, expanding its cloud-based software products to tap into an AI-powered boom in demand. Software has been a bright spot for IBM as its consulting business grapples with more cautious spending by enterprises navigating higher interest rates. 
IBM will pay $35 per share for HashiCorp, a 42.6% premium to Monday's closing price. HashiCorp shares has surged on Tuesday following media reports of the deal talks. HashiCorp shares rose more than 4% in extended trading on Wednesday, while IBM fell 7% as a company separately reported first quarter revenue marginally below estimates. Total revenue of $14.46 billion compared with LSEG estimates of $14.55 billion. Consulting segment sales were flat in the quarter. You see clients in this uncertain macroeconomic environment. You're seeing clients that are tight, tightening discretionary spending. CFO Jim uh, Cavanaugh told Reuters, this is a smart deal for IBM. They're buying a leader and it complements their existing portfolio. Stephen Elliott, a vice president at market research firm International Data Corp. Okay, so let's get onto Reddit and see what people are saying. So this was released yesterday. So this is when the announcements about IBM were planning to acquire HashiCorp. First post, feel bad for the HashiCorp employees who are going to be laid off massive benefit cuts at IBM too. They only contributed to 401k once a year on December 31st. If you leave before that, you get nothing. Okay, so 401ks are super in the US, I believe. Then they'll be replaced with offshore and lower cost US labor. IBM is a not a nice place to work. They're definitely getting laid off before their RSUs vest or they will straight up be cancelled. IBM does not give RSUs to techs. I'm okay if IBM buys it. The stock was so low, they were primed for a buyout acquisition. I'm more concerned about what this will do to the agnostic nature of Terraform in the cloud space. Currently, vendors, Microsoft, AWS, and Google all support the use of Terraform in the enterprise cloud. What happens to that when it's owned by, operated by IBM? Red Hat seems to have worked okay, but it would really suck if Terraform stopped being a first-class product across multiple cloud platforms. One good thing about this, it's more than likely the 10,000 lines of Ansible playbooks used to deploy OpenShift clusters will go away and they'll start using Terraform for the deployment of infrastructure and Ansible configuration. I can see native inoperability between Ansible and Terraform with Terraform being able to update Ansible inventories or Ansible uh, being able to read TF outputs as a first-class feature. I would expect nothing changes. If anything, I look at this as an IBM way of trying to get more into the cloud space. Terraform will pair nicely with Ansible. IBM handled the Red Hat acquisition. It appears a lot better than Broadcom has handled the VMware one. Hopefully, if this goes through, it'll be okay for all involved at HashiCorp. Time to move to OpenTofu. Okay, so found another post in uh, sysadmin. So it's basically announcing that they're going to acquire it for $6.4 billion. Add another name to the list of stocks to buy if time travel ever happens. How bad is IBM on the Linux Foundation to the Broadcom scale? Broadcom and Oracle are worse. Sent OS. IBM is where good software goes to die. It's a shame like Terraform Packer Vault. But just with that announcement, I'm going to move away from it where I can. So this would be very interesting to follow and um, I am a daily user of Terraform. We also use Vault and we also use Packer. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, I guess, what happens to these products, how they evolve over time. Um, and I'd be very curious to see if there's any sort of unusual um, constraints and things around, I guess, the multi-cloud side of things, considering IBM also had, I think, their own little um, private type cloud service. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see what happens. I currently work with Terraform day to day, so this could change a lot. Um, obviously, there's still things like Open Tofu and this Open Bow and things like that. Um, but who knows? Maybe it's time for a shift uh, to move away from Terraform. So, if you use any of these HashiCorp products, let me know what your thoughts are. You know, I don't really get into all this industry news, to be honest. I just live in this little bubble because. You know, there's always going to be things ever evolving and changing and innovating and you just have to roll with the punches and uh, learn to adapt. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm signing out. See ya!